Ladies and gentlemen, welcome now to the fence stand at Agritechnica 2023. Big news, which you may have seen in the in the press and on social media, is obviously the introduction of the brand new 600 Vario Series tractors. Now, it's not just about this. There are lots of other innovations on the fence stand, which we are going to get to. And to guide me through all these new launches and developments, I am now joined by Mr. Oscar Dreyer. Now, you'll have to forgive his voice and mine for two different reasons. Firstly, he was at a young farmer's party last night, so his voice might be a little bit croaky. Mine's just croaky because I'm getting a bit old. So, we should carry on. So, Oscar, yeah. I mean, we'll start with this because this is quite a bit of a headline piece for you guys. Quite a key introduction. So, this is the new 600 series from you guys. Uh, first things first, uh, yeah, just a few uh, sort of like headline figures. Kind of how many models are in this new 600 range to start yeah. with and their sort of horsepower levels? Yeah. Maybe some of you know that 30 years ago we started producing the favorite 600. That's right, series. yeah. So it's actually now 30 years that we are bringing back the number 600 on the fan It's been 30, 30, 30 years. years, really? It's been that long? Years, yeah, 1993. Right. And uh, well, but obviously it's the first time now as a Vario. Right. And we have in the range, we have four tractor models, starting with the 614, going up to the 616, 618, and then we have the top model, as we can see here, the 620. Okay. And maybe you know that, in case if you look at the digits on the bonnet, yep. the two and the zero are red. And that is not because we would think, well, maybe red is also a good color onto the <laughs> digits, but no. Goes with the wheels. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, because all the tractor models of the 600 will be equipped with our dynamic performance. So Somewhere. all of them, yeah, so not just the top model. Not just the top model. Because in so like in the 300 series, it's only the top model. Exactly. And on yeah, the 728, yeah. it's only the top model, and on the 211. But with this machine, we bring DP for all models. Okay, right. So what does that bring to the party? How much extra yeah. power so does that? Each tractor will. So for example, the 614 has 149 horsepower mm. rated. And then with the activation of DP, you will go up to 164. Right. So each tractor will be able to gain additional 15 horsepower right. with dynamic performance. And yeah, 15 is it? 15, yeah. yeah. Right. And the great thing about our system is that even if the tractor that stand still doing some PTO work, this, the boost can also activate. Right, so it's, it's much more of a, a clever boosting system exactly. rather than just relying on the tractor having to move yeah. and having to do some PTO work. Exactly. Right. Because the transmission is built that strong that even at standstill, <laughs> we can put all the horsepower from the engine towards the transmission. Right. So is this your boost system then? Is it more to sort of essentially compensate for other losses if it has yeah, exactly. you know, a hydraulic so, demand or even an air conditioning yeah. demand or things like that. Exactly, all the different components, auxiliaries that need additional power and from, from our perspective we think well the best thing is the tractor has its base horsepower like the 614. Yeah. It has uh, 149 horsepower. And then if you're doing heavy work and the tractor's noticing, well, I could use a little bit more power mm. to maintain the desired speed in the field, for example, with a cultivator or a plow, yeah. then we can increase even the horsepower by 15 horsepower. Good stuff. So, for example, then, we've got the 620 model here, yeah. the, the, uh, the flagship in yeah. the 600 series. So, what would this be rated at? 209 horsepower. Right, so it's... And with dynamic performance, it's 224. Right, so it's got quite a punch then. It is. For its size, yeah. which is a bit of a fent thing anyway. You've yeah. always had sort of high power to yeah. weight ratio tractors. It's kind of what you're famous for, really. Exactly. Because you can always add weight, you can't yeah. take it off. Exactly. So That's good stuff. True. Right, so the 600 series then, obviously, completely and utterly overlaps with the Gen 6 700. Yeah. So is that going to be phased out eventually? So at the end of next year, we will stop producing the 714 and 716 Gen 6. Right. So the smaller models with the smaller rear axle. But we will continue the production of the 718 going up to the 724 Gen 6. Right. And next year, we will start the production of the 600. So we will have the 720 Gen 7, the 720 or 718 Gen 6 going up to the 724 Gen 6. Right. And then the 620 as well. So you're going to have a three options of 200 horsepower tractors. Yeah, that's true. Right. But do you think eventually the Gen 6 700s will get phased? Maybe, who Maybe. knows? We don't have we don't. an exact number yet because, well, obviously each machine has its purpose. Yeah. And the 600 brings some 
features now to the table that the 700 Gen 6 is not able to do. Right. So for example, we now have a reversing function of the uh, fan, yeah. the cooling fan. We do have our Vario grip. So you got Vario grip on this system. size of tractor? Yeah, so you can right. go now Vario grip for 150 yeah. horsepower tractor if you would like, yes. Excellent stuff. Right, so. And then we have our Vario drive transmission. Yeah. Known from the bigger models, so the 900, 1000, 700, Gen 7. So, so this is one now a. Range. I was going to say a single range now. No yeah. range changes on this tractor. Exactly. And does it use the same sort of concept where. It can send independent power to the rear axle yes, and the front axle. Yes, completely identical. However, obviously it's a little bit smaller. Yeah. So that we don't have so much uh, engine or so the, losses. So the transmission the in this yeah. is it specifically developed for yes. this tractor? Yeah. Right. So on the bigger model, the 707, it's the TA190. Yeah. On this tractor, it's the TA150. Or okay. So just a slightly scaled down yeah, exactly. version. We can go up to 50k. Right. Yeah, and we will reach the 50k at 1250 rpms and do you think you'll use this transmission in any other future fent tractor developments i mean it's going to be interesting to see yeah, what the, you the what you do with the 500 yeah. series and what you do with the 300 series and things like that i mean well as you know uh, <laughs> you will never know what's going to happen but yeah. for sure the advantages with the vario drive especially in, in in grassland where the front axle is actually pulling the tractor around the corner yeah and we are not compared to a conventional orbit drive pushing the front axle. That's really what stands out. And also the turning circle of this tractor. Maybe some people will know the A20 yeah. from 2007, to, I think to up to 2011. Still a really famous tractor all around. And the 620 or the 600 series has the completely identical wheelbase. Really? Of 2.72 right. meters. But this tractor has, an, with standard tires, obviously has a turning circle of 10.2 meters. Right. And that feels like it's turning on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Because it is, I mean, you know, when the boost kicks in, what is this? It's 200 and... 224. 224 yeah. horsepower. This, this tractor, when the boost kicks in. And stood here, I know it's quite hard to sort of grasp the scale of it, yeah. you know, especially when it's not lined up with the other tractors, but it, feel, well, it looks small, compact, it is. short wheelbase. Yeah, we have also the really steep bonnet, so for better visibility overall. And by talking visibility, we need to talk about the front loader, because also in the 600, we do have now for the first time independent front valves in the middle of the tractor, right. only for the front loader. Yeah. But with our newest software update, maybe you know that each half a year there's a software update for Fend one We can now integrate those three independent valves in the headland management, now I teach in, right. and you can also now assign time functions. Okay. So this means in total you can get two valves in the front, yeah. three valves in the middle, and five in the back. So it means ten valves that you can now freely use if you want to. <laughs> I hope you've got a big hydraulic pump. <laughs> yeah, the standard is, uh, what, I think, 160 litres. Yeah. And optional, you can go up to 205 litres per minute. 205 yeah. on the tractor of this size? Yeah. Cool stuff. So, uh, engine-wise then? Yeah. So we're on a four-cylinder now? Exactly. Five litre, is it? Yeah, exactly. Echo power? Yeah, it's a brand new Core 50 engine, basically. <laughs> 